Jeremy Clarkson promised his new pub the farmer's dog would only carry British-made ingredients, even if it meant banning ketchup. Despite Jeremy Clarkson's vow to serve up only British produce, he's now admitted that he hasn't completely succeeded. The Clarkson's farm star, who opened the Farmer's Dog pub earlier this month with partner Lisa Hogan and TV sidekick Caleb Cooper by his side, had even banned Coca-Cola from his premises to comply with his all-British menu plan. However, he felt he couldn't open a pub without offering gin and tonic. Jeremy, who launched a website for the new pub, confessed, I have tried my absolute hardest to make sure that every single thing you consume in the farmer's dog was grown or reared by British farmers, and I have failed. He acknowledged that the pork, the beef, the lamb and the venison are all British, as well as pretty much everything else. Jeremy proudly added that the milk, butter, eggs, vegetables, fruit, and even cooking oils also pass the geographical test. However, he struggled when it came to offering guests a G and T. You can't have a pub that doesn't offer a gin and tonic, but there is quinine in tonic water, and you can't grow that in Britain, the frustrated host explained. Sure, I could have served gin and water instead, but I didn't think you'd enjoy it very much, he quipped. He also jokingly added that he'd have had to substitute a slice of lemon for a slice of turnip or some unappetizing potato peelings. Though he had to make a compromise on the quinine, he's been supportive of British farming communities in every other way, with all other drinks made locally. He even added partner Lisa's own brand of Cotswold's apple juice to his menu as a non-alcoholic alternative to his famous Hawkstone cider. It comes after a furor about ketchup, which Jeremy had been unable to source in Britain. Heinz outsources its production to Poland and Spain, and a deal to bring it back to English factories fell through in 2022, meaning Jeremy couldn't add it to his menu. The pub opening proved hugely popular without the condiment, though, with several hundred people queuing to be the first through the country pub's doors. Jeremy's made it clear, however, that the likes of Labour leader Keir Starmer won't be allowed in any time soon.